14, Jim Atfield was murdered on the Riverside Park in Colchester. In June of the same year, Nahid Amanir was murdered in the Southern Brook Trail in Colchester. Neither deserved to lose their life in such a brutal attack. James had been injured in a road traffic accident a number of years prior to his murder and was rebuilding his life and having sustained a brain injury. The Heed Amanir was a guest in that country studying at the University of Essex. The families have had to endure not only the loss of a loved one but deal with the terrible circumstances in which they both died. Today, James Fairweather has been convicted of both murders. His failure to admit to his actions has caused both families to have to endure further pain by going through the process of the trial. In response to the murders, Essex Police were one of the largest investigations it has conducted in the last 10 years. The support of both families has been tremendous, and I wish to thank them publicly for the support they offered to us. The community of Colchester also <coughs> responded after ter two terrible incidents that sent shockwaves through the community. The information and support to my officers and staff was exceptional. This is a statement from Jim Atfield's mother, Judith Finch, who is standing next to me. We are grateful for today's verdict and hope that now justice has been served, we can begin to move on as a family. On March 29, 2014, our lives were changed forever when my kind and brave son Jim was brutally killed. He had been through so much already having fought hard to overcome the effects of brain damage he suffered when he was struck by a car. He didn't deserve to die. At the time, we had no idea the killer was so young, a fact that makes my son's death feel all the more cruel and unnecessary. James Fairweather is a monster in our eyes and we will never be able to forgive him. I would like to thank all the police I've had contact with for all their hard work and sensitivity. Also, I would like to thank the media who have supported us during the investigation, keeping Jim's case in the public eye and helping the police with the appeals for information. Journalists have shown us great sensitivity throughout the trial. Everyone has been extremely supportive. My family and I now wish to be left alone so we can continue. 